Good afternoon everybody. Welcome again to the Multiphysics series. In this lecture, we will learn how can we use different tools and operations to create 3D geometries in COMSOL. I am Krupali Donda and very honored to be with you today. This is a short description about myself. I did my PhD in Applied Physics from Institut Jean Lamour, CNRS, France. More specifically, my topic was acoustic metasurface design for low frequency absorption. My research expertise are metasurface and metamaterials, noise and vibration control techniques, and deep learning for acoustic designs. Apart from my research work, I love traveling, exploring places, and cooking. So to start, we will select the blank model option. And then from the component add component menu, we will select 3D. Before starting the drawing, we have to choose the units based on the dimension of our model. So for example, dimensions of our model is in meter and the angular units are in degrees. Now click right on the geometry. You will see some options of basic shapes like block, cone, cylinder and sphere. Let's say we want to draw a cylinder. Any cylinder has height and radius. So what we will do, we will define them here in the parameters. We commonly define the radius by R. So let's say our radius is R and it is 3 meter. Here we will describe it as a radius for our easy to remember. The height is commonly defined by h. So let's say our height is h. But you can see that here it is showing by dark yellow color. It means that it is the result or used alphabet by console for the inbuilt equation. So we cannot use it. So let's define the height of our cylinder by any another alphabet. Let's say it is L and its value is 10 meter. So 10 meter and it is the height. Now go to the cylinder. Here in the radius we will put the value of radius as R and height is L. You can also put a direct value of uh, 3 meter here but if you define it in parameters it will help uh, for use it again in another geometries. And then build selected. So you can see here in the display this is our cylinder of the given dimensions. Now this is a solid cylinder you can say. Let's say you want to model a hollow cylinder which can be a cable, pipeline, waveguide or anything. For this we have to overlap two cylinders and then we will make the difference. So to do this operation by clicking right on geometry select the second cylinder. Now go to parameters again to define the radius of this second cylinder. And let's say its radius is R1. Now guess that we want to create a cylinder with wall thickness 1 meter. So we have to create a cylinder with a radius of 2 meter. Okay, so it is defined here. So go to cylinder 2. Here the radius is R1 and the height is same as L. So here you can see there is one more cylinder in the bigger one. You can see it clearly by clicking here transparency. 
so you can it is clearly visible now now click right on the geometry and go to the boolean and partitions and here select the difference in the for, for the first block select the bigger cylinder by clicking on it so it will show here cylinder 1 now turn on this toggle switch and select the another cylinder by clicking on it so you can see both of cylinder are here and now we want to make the difference of it using this operation so we have already selected that option so make it build select so we can see that the hollow cylinder is created here next uh, suppose you want to create uh, an array of an object so we can check here on this cylinder itself so click on geometry go to transform and create the array now select the array click on the object you want to create an array so we want to create an array of this now we have to choose the size of an array first we have to choose the type it is three dimensional or the linear linear means only in one direction so let's check for linear now so linear and suppose the size is 5 and now we have to put the value of displacement we want just displacement in x direction for example so let's say the displacement is 15 meter then build selected so here you can see that it has created an array of the given object okay now i am going to show you one more way to draw any kind of geometry for this click right on the geometry and select the work plan option here you can change the plane type then plane from the setting right now we are choosing plane in the x y coordination which starts from z equal to 0 so you can see this is our plane x y plane next click right on the plane geometry for now let's draw an ellipse ellipse let's make an ellipse with a axis of 5 meter and b axis with 10 meter and then build selected so this is the 2d elliptical shape in our xy plane now we want it to be solid with some height so click right on the work plane and select extrude right on work plane select extrude and let's say its height is 10 meter and then will select it so this is an solid elliptical shape now using the same approach let's make another geometry which is not defined here in this list click right on the geometry choose work plane click then then click right on the plane geometry and choose more prim primitives and from this choose line segment so here we have to specify the vertex or the coordinates let's say we are defining the line by coordinates its x y value is x 0 0 and the end of this segment is at 0 comma 5 for an example so this is our line next let's choose the second line segment so plan geometry right click more primitives and line segment 
now let's say this is starting from the end of the first segment so the co start coordinate is 0 comma 5 and it is up to 5 comma 3 so this is our second segment and now let's make third line segment line geometry like right click more primitives then light line segment coordinates so let's say third segment start from 5 by 3 5 comma 3 sorry and its end point is the start point of the first segment so you can see here we have made a kind of closed geometry or we can say a triangle now let's define its height so click right click on work plan then select extrude and say its height is 15 meter build selected so here is our triangle geometry there are lot a lot more operations available here in this menu using which we can do any kind of complex geometry so for now let's finish this video here we will see some more geometrical operations to create the geometry in one of the next videos i hope this video will be helpful to give you a good overview of building geometry in comsol thank you and see you in the next video of the multiphysics series have a nice day